there was a fucking moment where you were like, is this lady going to eat the babies? Yeah, that's <laughs> for me. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, you're man. telling me a baby movie ain't shit what you don't like snow piercer <laughs> <laughs> I want to show you a trailer that I get sent quite often and I enjoy it a okay. lot I just don't know how to work it into video religion ever and so this is going to be it. my attempt to work it into video religion right now um like I want to help this guy out, but I just just breathe it in for a little bit here. Hi, uh, my name is Glenn Towery. All right. No one has really made a funk feature length. The funk, funk mythology funk movie on funk yet. <laughs> Dude, just I I, I'm, I'm down. Yeah, like and sold. I wrote this script yeah. about oh maybe more than twenty years ago, but at and the also time, the determination there, man. Hell yeah. Now. With crowd funders, also and that shirt. With sudden success that shirt's films like fucking Black paisley Panther, and tight. And it is yeah. possible. This is a this is an adventure with funk music in it. It's a space fantasy adventure. The characters. So like heavy metal funk. with funk. Like I'm down, man. Just shoot the feature. Give this guy some money. We're gonna we're gonna go on a funk adventure. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah. It would be great, man. Ah, I like. It. Fungest motion picture in the universe. But, uh, hold on. Is the other yet? Let's see. I'm gonna go to the website. Funk, yeah. <laughs> see, he needs the money because he's gotta get some rights. I feel like there's some, some movies that really need to be, or some songs that really need to be in there. Yeah, this is the That's website. Probably what's right gonna here. eat it up? It's the uh... starfunkmovie.com. Nice. And let's go see if the do it for the funk of it right here. There's also Star investment artoon opportunities. <laughs> okay, so no, no, uh, uh, no uh, Kickstarter or anything. Just donate. Looks like he's he wants to go live May. Okay, so look out for that May. Let me see. 15th. Is this a different Mid -May. This one's a little different there. This one's getting crazy. Oh shit, is he singing it too? Holy shit, dude. He sings too. Dude. <laughs> yes. send, the, send the funky dollars man please send the funky dollars i want this so oh. bad i want this to be real so bad funky bills fund us and we'll be in a theater near you soon. <laughs> yes! This is awesome. Please make that happen. Everyone, oh, give, it, give your money down. to the funk. That shit is unique. No, yeah. That's right. It's, it's, it's good, man. I'm with it. Whatever's happening there, I'm 100%. One thing I did. Did you ever watch Monster? I think I can't. There was there was like a. I know the name. I don't think it's. I, I, I guarantee you've seen the cover floating around somewhere. All right, so it's a pretty silly movie, but I got an email from uh, like the people that made the movie, but they're making wow. a a novelization of Monster. Fuck yeah. So there will be, you know, like any unanswered questions you had about Monster and the canon. I'm sure it might be. An open fleshed out, yeah, fleshed out, <laughs> fleshed out, <laughs> flushed out, exactly. I don't know. I just thought that was pretty funny because monster. That's, is... that's pretty cool. That's uh, that's a lost art. You know, there's not too many novelizations. Yeah, like you don't really see a lot nowadays. of novelizations. I mean, well, actually, I'm sure every movie. <laughs> I'm sure every movie actually has a novelization come out. Like you know, they still like 
I know for a fact schools still have like fucking those weird scholastic book clubs. Oh, those so are like, the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are pretty awesome. Uh, you know, so there's got to be a still some as long as they still have Lamborghini posters. You know, I have to check up on that and see if they still have Lamborghini posters. It doesn't seem like a good. <laughs> So yeah, it's a tie-in. See, I was hoping it'd be in universe. Seems important to me. That's uh, pretty fun. Sets the literary world aflame with the horrific saga of a giant killer turd man. Just as Psycho provided you with an excuse to finally stop bathing, Mon's turd will provide you with, dear reader, a handy item to prop up a wobbly table leg or use to start a campfire when you need to cook your human meat. Penned by co-writers and directors of the fabulous movie screenplay, Dan West and Rick Popko. So, yeah, man. I, I think the best use would be uh, if you run out of TP. Yeah, like, and I can't believe stage. they didn't even put that in there. Maybe they just got sick <laughs> sick of a... Makes uh, me worried about the writing staff. Poop. Yeah, the poop <laughs> jokes. Maybe after they wrote the book, they had written so many poop jokes that they just didn't think it would be a good idea to put one more out there. Or they were just so sick of them. Oh, here's an actual on nose. synopsis. When an escaped serial killer, Jack Smith, suffers a fittingly horrific death in the sewer beneath Butte Canyon, California, the shit hits the fan for the local sheriff's department and Schmidt's nemesis, FBI agent Susan Hannig. It's, it's actually just the plot of the monster. So let's hope for some, you know, like Halloween novelization style. Like, dive yeah. deep. we learn there's like more to it, like a cult that'll slowly brought out during the sixth movie only to be to forgotten into later. that backstory yeah <laughs> we need <laughs> we need the cult of thorn for monster <laughs> we're clamoring for more yeah like I, I it's important i think to bring more monster to the world i got a trailer that was sent to me from evan jacobs who runs a micro budget streaming vod service called athene uh, damn, I should learn how to read. And Hedna Films Unlimited. Hmm. And this is the third film in the Death Toilet franchise. And so Death that's, Toilet. That's okay. why I feel like it's it's going to go well with the one we just watched. It's a good segue. Yeah. Uh, so it's titled Death Toilet 3 Duty Calls. And it is a sequel <laughs> to the 2019 well-received Death Toilet number 2. So yeah. This one's on ah, Vimo, yes. so you know it's the even deuce. better. Cause yeah, it is. That's where the big boys play. It's in Vimo. So they get pulled down. <laughs> I like it already. Yeah. No TP. Oof. You're gonna need a copy of the monster. Death Toilet 3. Duty call. SRS. Oh, yeah, there's, that's a good sign. It's yeah. Probably, it's probably a good one. Uh, yeah, it was pretty short, but I, I, I liked it. I feel, I feel like I Almost need a, a like a uh, TV spot. Very short. Yeah, I need to watch it one a more teaser. time. Actually, let's let's watch that one more time. That's a teaser. No, it's a teaser. See, I feel like we're missing something because there was two death toilets before this, and this is like the epic, like the road broke open, and like. You know, it's it's fucking going down. Like Death Toilet has this is reached. This is the final Death Toilet. You'd like, have a better handle if you had seen the first two. Yeah, like this is about to go down. Like that yeah. fucking street broke open. Like there's a laser coming out of the fucking street. Like Death Toilet has hit an apex. Like the everything has come to this. Like all the poop jokes to this. The final like, culmination. Yeah. The sewer has caved in. Let's see if we can find a preview for Death. Toilet. Like I feel like. Like, how have we not seen Death Toilet? I I feel like we probably would have seen Death Toilet. Yeah, it's just not been on the radar. Okay, 
Let's see, we got another 38 second trailer here. Uh, good morning. Uh, do you perform exorcism? It looks like a SRS film, a good old mm -hmm. SRS film there. House Shark or something. Yeah. Love me uh, some House Shark. Uh, do you perform exorcisms on toilets? See, that is House Shark. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> See, I'm already giving that that priest hell of fucking credit right there because yeah. he was really going for it right in front of that he, fucking he, he toilet. Was on it. Yeah, that was hardcore. I like that. You're all in. Yeah. Like you didn't even get the benefit of that fire there. No, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this bear. It's tightening up on losing. <laughs> you know, you know the bolt on the side of the bolt that everyone knows about. <laughs> what is that bolt? I don't know. I've installed many toilets. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm going to go check my toilet right now for that bolt. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure there's no bolt. If that, if that bolt is there, I've never cleaned it. Um, it could be uh, one of those fancy Japanese toilets that talks and has sensors everywhere oh yeah, it and shoots. it's heated. Well, a lot of people have bidets now. Yeah. Like, hell of fucking people. I go to people's houses and there's just like a fucking uh, USB charger attached to their fucking toilet. That's too fancy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's fucking too much. Yeah, but that looks good. I think I'm going to... I didn't see... You know, I haven't seen a dead toilet on SRS. I, I visit SRS's... Uh, store it pretty the often last time it, was there. it might have been an older one uh but yeah uh let's see what the email says see where you can find it watch the yeah, trailer very, uh, oh well it, of course he says right here he's got his own uh micro budget vod service so probably just watch it on vimo oh there you go it's a good spot to watch that third one but i gotta find the first one because like i said looks like it's all coming. i'm kind of a completist i don't yeah. want to jump in at the third volume no yeah like, I don't even, even when people are like, you don't need to, I'm like, I need to. Like, I need to, yeah. You don't know what you're talking about. I need to. Uh, <laughs> it's based off something tertiary that doesn't even have anything to do with it. I still want to see that first. Uh, but there's, speaking of SRS, it's kind of cool that they've uh, incorporated a lot of some of my other favorite low budget things lately. Like, uh, mm -hmm. um, who did they pick up? They picked up, uh, uh, What's his name? The guy, the American Santa's Dungeon Entertainment. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty fun stuff. That's great. You know, lump them together where people are looking. Like you said, you were just there recently looking. People are going to come across more stuff if it's there. Yeah, like I visit the SRS sign because they, they have sales constantly and like, uh, mm -hmm. and it's pretty cheap already. And like, like ever since I was trying to hunt down a, you know, a DVD copy of like Gore Girl way back in the day. Oh, yeah. Like that was, it's been like one of my go-to places. Like I just visit and buy weird for shit. All those. Yeah, uh, Ronald Bonk, man, he's a G. Yeah. They also put out like the one shot, some of the one shot picture of Jesse Franco stuff. Yeah, I know a lot of that's out of. Uh, the well, that was like the old suburbs uh, studios, though. Is that like yeah? yeah. Like, is it the same? <laughs> like it's related, I, right? I honestly, don't know. It's gotta be related. <laughs> I have some of those early Jess Franco like. DVD sets they put out where they squeeze through their two or four movies on. I have some other stuff like that from Suburbs and Studios. Mm -hmm. And then also, uh, um, what's his name? All the Donald Farmer shit. Like all yeah. my old Donald Farmer shit is Suburbs and Studios. So uh, Love After Death is one I watched a while back um, under the name Unsatisfied Love. And it's just such an oddball. Like sex movie meets carnival carnival of souls as they have there it's it's, it's an odd one oh, it's I one haven't. of those uh something weird deep cuts that like you wouldn't think would ever get any love and here they're putting it out so i think that's kind of fun because they've got access to a lot of something weird movies and they've been cherry picking some good ones and this is a deeper cut that uh i thought was pretty cool that's getting out uh there's a trailer there I like 
both those movies a lot. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's a really good summation. It really is kind of a combination. Dash is sci-fi too, maybe. I got like a dash of a the brain that wouldn't die. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that looks awesome. Fuck yeah! Yeah, it's it's pretty fun. It's it's sleazy. It's unusual. I'm glad they're putting that out. And with most their their releases, you get like a a second feature. So yeah, they're kind of doing it. keeping the uh something weird thing going. With yeah, exactly. It's really cool that they've uh. You know, it kind of sucks that something weird didn't get to evolve into these, you know, and now that boutique labels rule the earth. But uh, um, but it's cool that things like these are coming out. Like, I can't wait for... I'm so glad that Lisa's, like, uh, keeping these movies alive by putting them in places that will restore them and put them out there to the masses. Yeah, I don't know. Like, the cool thing about something weird is it was like a never-ending pit that I could just dig in and continuously find things. Um, oh yeah, I used to get their uh, little print mail catalog, yeah. and I just go yeah, it was through like a it. Never like, ending thing. Like, yeah, it was like eight point font, and you could just like scroll, look, you know, look at all those titles and who's in them, and it's just so cool. So I'll kind of miss that, even though that's still kind of there, something weird, but uh, mm-hmm. and it's slowly going away, I guess, or it threatens me that it's going away all the time. Every time I visit well, the website, the the physical form has gone away. You can still yeah. get the uh, digital downloads. Yeah, I don't be doing that though. No, I'm still <laughs> physical. Before they closed that down, I ordered a big box of yeah, their DVDs. But it will be cool to see like these cur- some some of the people's favorites or. Are... And I was ecstatic. You know, I wondered since Agfa got. Every single Doris Wishman element, I was like, they got to put out a box set, and they finally said something that they're going to do it. And yeah, so I'm that's very excited. About <laughs> like, that. I don't want to just go for the cliche ones, but that's what I'm excited about. Like, I just want a Doris mm-hmm. Wishman box set. <laughs> but here they're doing deep cuts in the interim, so I, I think that's fantastic. And uh, they're taking some of their S video stuff, uh, the VHS stuff. Um, let's see, like uh, the Embalmer. That's a really fun one. I have on something weird DVD, and they have like the original VHS master, and they put that out as a streaming movie you can download. Oh, that's legit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was like pretty much make a donation of a buck, and you can watch it. That's I wonder how cool this, uh, the good, the bad, and the beautiful is. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that one. Politician, blackmail, scissor murders, smoking weed, good. Was, and fetish whipping. I was kind of hoping it would be like a. Uh, Good, the bad and the ugly kind of rip off, but <laughs> doesn't sound that way. I don't know. You can still uh, fit some man with no name in there somewhere. Yeah, that, exactly. that mess that we just described. I think it's funny they call him the man with no name. Yeah, he has a name in every one of those movies, and they're yeah. different. Yeah, the the name just keeps changing. Yeah. Well, it's because it's, it's not name. really the man with no name. It's like the stranger. Yeah, the stranger. Um, I don't know. You know, it's a. I don't even. They're not even like the same guy. <laughs> it's just, it's just, you know, it's just something. Yeah, it's a collection, a collection of of desert stories with the thematic. Like, yeah, that was uh, that looks really sick. Like I'm really, I'm very interested I in. Keep pressing this pre-order and it doesn't do anything, and I feel, I feel hurt. Uh, you can get it right off the Vinegar Syndrome page. Oh, okay. That's uh, that's they, another cool collab uh, is the vinegar yeah. syndrome doing the uh, AGFA stuff. Yeah, um, they've and got is it really AG, buried like, under their... It's AGFA, right? Because I mean, yeah, it's always been the American for... genre of film, like archive. Like I almost said archive because I just be doing that sometimes. That's. Hmm. I like to take a little poetic license on how I pronounce things. Yeah. Exactly. Own it. Yeah. <laughs> it'd be like, yeah, it'd be like the yeah. labels are it seems to be ever expanding, but the Agfa ones, um that's I always call it Agfa. I don't know. It's easier. That's much easier than <laughs> how I say it. And half a dozen yeah. letters. I still gotta pick this one up, but it's sold out now. I never grabbed it. I waited too Which long. One's that? Uh oh, you can't even say um uh, bat pussy. Oh, that one's fantastic. It's such a unique I've movie. seen Bad Pussy 
before, but I and also the sex robots, whatever the second one is on there. I've seen mm-hmm. both of them and they're pretty good. I just want a cool copy. The copy looks really cool. Uh, but have you heard of uh, Jacob's wife, that Barbara Crampton one that's on SOB right now? No. I hope a physical copy comes out soon because I, I don't want to pay for it on streaming, even though. I, I saw her uh, recently in a dollar store uh, movie I picked up. Oh, yeah. Uh, it was pretty fun. Beyond the Gates. Yeah. Oh, you've never seen Beyond the Gates? No, I hadn't. Oh, man. Beyond the Gates is legit. Is that the guy from uh, so the Fuhad Ramses? Oh, it looks like... Yeah, that is him. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a blast. Yeah, it looks really good. Like, I'm super stoked about it. I might just grab the SOV because I just need to kind of want to watch it. Uh, cause yeah. Did you ever watch... What was that show on fucking Netflix with a... Uh, with Drew Barrymore in it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I watched the first season, the cannibal one. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, I, uh, I, I don't know. I kind of lost track of that one, but South, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. South Carolina Diet or some shit. Uh, Something like that. But uh, that mo- that show had, like, this really cool concept, uh, but it didn't really... Um, there was, like, cool parts. It was... Uh, but I wanted to see it as, like, a more... A more horror. Like... That, like, film. like well, just more horror than it was. Like it was like really silly. It almost turned into a situational comedy. Well, and that would be fine, except it felt really. What the fuck is the name? Like it felt like an edgy version of a uh, Eureka, yeah. which is like one of my least favorite types of television. Yeah, <laughs> but no, it, I can watch that one. <laughs> uh, felt like a like a really edgy by the end of it. Uh, but this looks like a really. And it's not like it ripped it off or anything, but I mean, like hitting the same uh, vibes. Mm-hmm. So I think it'd be cool. I finally framed my signed picture of a uh, oh, Ted V. Michaels. Yeah, I have like oh, an autograph nice. that came like with one of those like cheapy, like, but it's like an actual autograph photo of Ted V. Michaels that came with like Alpha Video Collection of Ted V. Michaels shit. And I put it what? in a nice little frame, and it looks pretty funny. I'm just going to put it in awesome. different places around the house. <laughs> That's so cool. Because he's got his little mustache. God, I love fucking Mike, uh, Ted V. Michaels, man. He's, fucking he's got the shit. mustache. He's got the uh, the horn. Yeah, he's got his little horn oh, mustache. Not, not horn, but, uh, but no, uh, uh, the, the bone tooth necklace thing. Oh, no, he doesn't have his... No necklace, no. I don't think it is older him. Like so, he should. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like he should. Uh, oh, just I love him. You look at him and you just get a smile on your face. You can't, you can't look at Ted V. Michaels and not smile. Like, nah. there's just something about his. Like, hold on, let me pull up a picture of Ted V. Michaels real quick. Just, All right, I'm gonna be honest with you. I rock that mustache quite frequently. Oh man, I'm not I'm not a mustache person myself. Um and it's not just cuz I can't grow one. I'm not prejudiced. Okay, it might be a little bit that I can't grow one. Like it's like when I see people that like look like me and they're rocking this, like they look like a child rocking this mustache. The the Ted B Michaels. Um that's not as cool for me. And he's always got the horn. Tooth fang. I don't know what it is. Save this guy's so tiger. cool. Like look at him. He just laughs. You just you just smile. You're just like, oh man, he looks like he's in. He's gonna tell me a good story. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna tell us something good. There he is telling a good story right there. Just it's a good dude. We wouldn't have Charlie's Angels without him. Or like his his taste in women too. Like we share it. Like giant women that could break you in half. Like I'm, I'm <laughs> Tara like Santana. That. Yeah, like constantly. If they look like they could punch a hole in me, bring them down. Uh. Or if they mentally could punch a hole in me, I guess I'm down to right through the skull. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, no, Ted B. Michaels, cool guy. Um, has a harem sometimes, but they look like more like maybe everyone was just eating his macaroni and cheese. Um, <laughs> <laughs> made up a big bowl of chili today. Yeah. Oh man, here's some. See, this is. There you go. That's, that Classic. should just be a picture I look at in the morning when I wake up and just look at this picture and be like, you know what? Go out there and just make your dreams come come true. <laughs> whether <laughs> whether you're out to Ted. just make a buck or if you're out to be Ted B. Michaels. And cool. Gordon, Ted, Kings. 
<laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I have a framed picture of him. I'm just going to move him around the house. Put him in the That's living awesome. room for a little bit. And people come in, I'm going to tell them it's my roommate's dad. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, every time I see this, is there an actual Batman trailer? That can't be real. What's that? For that new Batman movie? Because this, this cover looks so funny. It looks like like a shitty crow kid from my high school right here. <laughs> Can you see that? Yeah, I do. Man, I'm so out of the loop. Is that really what Batman looks like? I don't know. He looks like the crow kid in my high school? No offense to the crow movie because it's one of my know. favorites. but No, absolutely. But the crow kid was funny. Heavy stuff. Oh, yeah, this movie looks hilarious. <laughs> Wait a Way to, you know, change it up, you guys, and just do the same exact kind of thing that we've already had with these movies. I know. You guys I really, know. really twisted it around this time and took from the Frank Miller book. <laughs> oh, man. The same Frank Miller book that all those other movies keep trying to take from. The hell are you supposed to be? I'm Frank Miller's Batman. I mean Batman. <laughs> I'm so glad they did like another it. timeline that's exactly like those other timelines. It takes exactly from the same source material, even though Batman has like longer than any human life's amount of fucking books to read. It's so unnecessary. Oh, I feel like I'm nerd, nerd, uh, raging. So but... unnecessary. <laughs> Jesus, it's the crow. <laughs> the crow oh, like man. sequels. <laughs> yeah, nah, I can't get behind that. I'm oh, sorry. that was hilarious. Oh, I'm gonna watch that just to to have a giggle, like uh, like when I watch Batman v Superman. Like I'm, I won't <laughs> lie to anyone. Like I enjoyed the shit out of Batman v Superman, but kind of like I enjoyed Cats. Like I enjoyed oh, the geez. shit out of Cats. Everyone was hella mad at cats, and I was like, "No, this is good, you guys. You're you're not enjoying it, right? Just get in, uh, get in I with the bad. Bother. Get in with the bad. Roll around in the muck. I don't know what they're saying. I don't know what it means. But this looks creepy, and it should have never been made. And that that brings me joy. I don't give a shit. Get flashbacks of like cats playing at the Winter Garden Theater. Yeah, all the commercials when I was a kid. <laughs> Like, whether it was, like, on VHS, mm -hmm. selling a mail order, or fucking, or it was playing at some theater. With, it, with the fucking ubiquitous tote bags or sweatshirts. Yeah, like, I never had any, any, uh, any, uh, uh, drive to see it or anything like that back then. I just, no. I just enjoy how terrible that is. Like. It was just, it was truly terrible, but in a yeah. way that, went, like, it wasn't, like, non-enjoyable terrible. Like, I, I like it, terrible shit. It's, like, my thing. Certainly. It was shitty, and it was so shitty that I liked it. It didn't piss me off. Not once was <laughs> I pissed off. The whole time I was just like, what? That's I, a good I thing. Was, I was, like, sitting there, and I was like, I'm not high enough for this shit. And then, like... <laughs> I like searched my pockets and found like a little vape pen. And I was like, oh, fuck yeah. And just like vape through that whole movie. Because <laughs> no one else was in the theater. We saw it in like the cheap theater. And I was like, by the end of it, I was too lit to like drive home. But like, Come I, was, handle it. I was totally enjoying the movie. Like, I was like, fuck nice. yeah. Like, people were taking off their skin. Um, <laughs> yeah, for some reason, they're cats, right? So they're like wearing, yeah. they're wearing fur. But then the they, fur. like, take that fur off. No, no, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking weird. Nah, I can't handle that. Also, there was, like, there was, like, little baby faces on mice. No. And the, the fatter cat wanted to eat the babies. And I think she did eat the babies. I can't really remember. I can't remember if she ate the babies or not. <laughs> but there was a fucking moment where you were, like, is this lady going to eat the babies? Yeah, that's <laughs> for me. <laughs> what? Oh, you're man. telling me a baby movie ain't shit where you don't like Snowpiercer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't say that. I didn't say that. And what else? What else? There's lots of oh, good baby man. eating movies. Oh, you don't like oh, Anthropog... Poly, blah, anthrop 
Anthropophagius? Yeah, you don't like anthropophagius. <laughs> anthropophagius? You don't like baby eating <laughs> movies? <laughs> What's wrong with you? You don't like the baby eating <sighs> subgenre of horror? As long as you have freaking George Eastman, I'm I'm down. <laughs> the thing about that movie is everyone every time they're like, "Oh, that's the movie with the auto cannibalism," as if that's the most offensive part. Like you eat yourself, and everyone's like, "What the fuck, bro? That's gross." But you eat a baby, and everyone's like, "Oh, that's cool, whatever." <laughs> <laughs> that's the title, so yeah. it's true. Now let's take it seriously after this. How can they take it seriously? No one will ever take it seriously after this. How can they take it seriously? No one will ever take it seriously after this. How can they take it seriously? No one will ever take it seriously after this. How can they take it seriously? But yeah, I think I drink too many beers. <laughs> no such thing.